in a span of five days, I went to the home finale for both the San Diego Chargers and the Oakland Raiders. Time will tell whether it's the last game ever in San Diego and in Oakland. But what I found, though, was a tale of two different cities. In San Diego, feelings of anger, disgust, resignation, and sadness ruled the parking lot uh, and the post game. In Oakland, though, it was completely different. Yes, there were thousands of signs being passed out that said, please stay in Oakland. But I found more Raider fans were there to celebrate the great career of Charles Woodson and look to the future than really worry about the future of the Oakland Raiders. To show you the contrast, here are some sights and scenes from the Chargers home finale in San Diego and the Raiders finale in Oakland. <laughs> game vibe was so different. In Oakland, Charles Woodson came out and addressed the fans, thanked Mark Davis and the organization, and talked about the Raiders going in the right direction. In San Diego, it was a feeling of sadness. Philip Rivers in tears when he spoke about the generations of Charger fans who had been watching the Chargers longer than these players had been around. This, they've been playing football in this town before any of us were born. And there's people that are going to be at that game today that were coming to games before we were born. And uh, but we get to we get to close it out. If it is the end, we get to finish it off. So um, hopefully the fans that have seen it over the years and the players that have played in there can can be proud today that we at least uh, ended it the right way. Several players came out after the game to thank the fans for what could be one final time. Philip Rivers, Antonio Gates, and the last man to leave the field, Eric Weddle. Was there sadness in Oakland? Sure, but I didn't get the overwhelming sense from Raiders fans that they felt that the team was gone. There was still significant hope the Raiders could somehow find a way to get it done. Not just that, it's that the Raider fans have faith in the direction of the organization. Not just in Mark Davis, not just in Reggie McKenzie, not just in, De in Jack Del Rio, but the core of young players they have including guys like Derek Carr, Khalil Mack, and Amari Cooper. Here in San Diego, 
it's been a miserable season of Groundhog's Day losses and really doubt about the future of Mike McCoy and the rest of his coaching staff and trying to figure out who the core is of this Chargers team. Perhaps it's just that Raider fans are taking great hope in their owner, Mark Davis, who publicly states Oakland is still his priority, even though he continues to work on Carson along with Dean Spanos. Perhaps it's because Mark Davis is still visible in Oakland, on the field, during the games, before the games, after the games, unlike Dean Spanos, who has not been seen uh, at a Chargers home game on the field in quite some time and has been silent in nearly a year. My takeaways from two very different home finales in San Diego and in Oakland. Listen, in Oakland there is some sadness, but there's hope. There's excitement about the Raiders' future, whether that's going to be in Oakland or a return back to Los Angeles. In San Diego, there was an overwhelming feeling of, of anger, of sadness, of despair, and the inability for a Chargers fan who's loved their team for over 50 years to do anything at all.